You have surely seen popular shorts and Instagram reels and TikToks all over the internet like these that are generating millions of views and, and cashing in for their makers. The interesting thing about this is that they are so easy to make and they can cash in a lot of views for you. Most of the shorts topics are either random facts or quizzes or quotes and something's interesting but simple that attracts people that people want to engage with. So in this video I am going to show you how you can create hundreds of YouTube shorts in bulk using ChatGPT and Canva for free and in less than 10 minutes. So let's get started. First thing we will do is to decide what niche we are going in. So we can make use of ChatGPT for that as well. So for this we will ask chat gpt something like this suggest me some interesting youtube shorts niches where, where i can easily create shorts by having interesting text on some background video like like say quotes or wisdom would you rather or interesting facts or questions or general knowledge something like that you get the idea i mean we are giving it some example of what we think are kind of niches we want to get in so it gets the basic idea of what we are trying to say and let's hit enter and let's see what it returns or right, let it generate all right so you can see it has generated like 20 interesting niches for me i will for this video i will go with this brain teasers i like this one so since shorts are like you shouldn't have really complicated if the really basic so people can get interested so I liked this brain teaser one. So I will just go ahead and ask it to uh, generate me 100 interesting and basic brain teasers. For shorts, you don't want to have those complicated. We will go with this basic brain teasers and hit enter. And let's see what it generates for us. So since it did not give answers, I will recommend it with brain teasers with answers in table. So let's see that. So you can see it is generating us the 100 brand teasers with uh, with answers. Alright, so now we have 100 brand teasers uh, with other answers ready. And so our next step is to convert them, all of them, into the shorts in bulk. So let's head over to the Canva. So we are on the Canva page now. And from there, go over to the videos, mobile videos, full HD this one here now we have this blank canvas now what we can do is now we will go into the elements and search for relevant background videos so for this video since i have brain teaser so for this video i'm going to search for brain teaser and let's see what we find go into the videos and then filter it by free ones since we are searching for freeze okay none of these are interesting so we'll search for some different keyword like maybe puzzle because it is slightly relevant to our topic of brain teaser now these are free puzzle videos if you like one of those you can go ahead and select or you can also select from photos here choose something colorful like this one here this seems colorful to me so i will just go over this and select it as a background now we have the background now first uh, let's reduce the transparency a bit of this image like 50 percent looks 50 or 40 percent looks good to me and then change the color or oh, this one looks good and choose one of the dominant colors of your image like for this it is this color so now it looks good so now we're gonna have four elements on top of this like first we will have the heading headline of this like it will be a brain teaser then the question itself then the answer and maybe then a timer at the bottom so let's first go uh, back into the elements and choose shapes here let's choose this shape i'll choose this one and then resize it like this looks good to me and then maybe recolor it to a color that is appealing once you're ready with that then go into the text add a heading and it will it is brain teaser and take it at the top and adjust the size of it to make it a little big okay. now choose the font i will choose anton for this okay looks good you can change the color okay this looks good so now brain teaser heading is ready now we will have the question section here next we will choose the shape again resize it accordingly so now we will adjust the shape for the question like this looks good and then go into the text and add a subheading this time and for now and now paste the question so for here is the question paste it here bring it up resize it 
to keep it within the body of the box okay now looks good but it is small so we need to make it big or 70 looks just fine okay okay looks good now i'll choose this different font i like i want a different font here so i will go into josephine so now it is josephine regular next we will have the box for answer so we can simply go here and duplicate it and take it down like here and resize it like this and we will have the answer duplicate that as well now paste the answer here the answer is what an echo the answer is an echo so paste it here all right resize it like this and keep it in the center so it looks good you can color it differently to pop the answer out now next we can make text look more interesting if you find it just plain you can make it interesting an echo and then select effect and then go into outline this one looks good like this now answer looks more interesting and increase the thickness like this so now you can see it looks more interesting so now we have the title of this short the question and the answer as well so next we will need is the uh, progress bars to create the urgency for that we will just go into the elements again and select one of those shapes let's select this again reshape it and bring it down like here keep the sizing similar don't random size it and change the color since red gives the vibe of urgency so i'll choose it red this is our progress bar so now we have all this red next i want this short to be 15 seconds long so i'll enter 15 seconds now you can see it is 15 seconds long you can see here all right guys so we are ready with our short now but there is an issue it looks like an image and not like a video what we want is that the question should appear first then the timer should start and when the timer finishes we want the answer should appear here so let's first make the timer so so for that click on the timer then go into the animation and then select wipe enter and lower the speed to minimum like this as you can see now it is moving like a timer now the next thing is that we don't want the answer to appear all the time we want the question should appear first when the question finishes the timer should appear and when timer finishes the answer should appear here so for that what we need is select on this timer again then right click and then going to show timing now from here we can control the when the timer appears and when it finishes so if you play it now so we want the timer should appear like after three to four seconds like say here so drag it to this four second like this if you play it now now you can see the timer start up here and it should finish before the four second of short so like here drag it till here okay now if you play it now here you can see like that so now we want the answer should appear after the timer loads so click on the answer and then right click and show timing again now and drag it to the point where the timers time finishes like somewhere near here similarly for the background here all right now if you play it, the wall you can see uh, we can further add animation to this a question I'm going to click on this and then animation add typewriter here enter and fasten up a little bit similarly we can add animation to the header so click here then animate then for pop so if you play it now like this we can add animation to the answer so click on this like this shift now if you play it now so this is how it will look now let me also bring this timer bar on the top of the answer here because let's see how it will look now so now this way it looks more attractive so now our template is ready all we need to do is now create them in bulk so for that go into the apps from there go into the bulk create enter data manually now go back to our chat gpt and copy all the data from top to the bottom and come back to the canva and paste it from the very first column from the t here and then click on done now we have to link this data to these fields here click on this question right click it then connect data and then brain teaser all right now similarly do that for answer right click connect answer 
and once you've done that then kind of click on continue you can deselect any of those you don't want to create and generate all of those but don't go yet i'm going to show you how we can add voiceovers all of them in the bulk so stick for a minute so this is our shorts all of them are ready you can see if you go into the grid view you can see all of those are ready if you see some of those going out of the box like this here so you can see it is going out of the box so for that what you can do is either make the box bigger or have the font small so it won't overlap like that you can see it you can adjust it like that as well or you can make it like this like this as well now if you want to download it as it you can do but if you want to add a voiceover to it which will make it more attractive then i'll show you that as well for now i will show you to add a few words of voiceover in it like so instead of speaking the whole question i'm going to show you a few words that like can you answer this can you solve the brain teaser so something like that so for that we will go over the tts maker it's a free tool so i want to have a voiceover to the shorts like can you answer it can you answer it it's simple but challenging and it's easy to add so now you can see here it can, can you answer it can you answer it now just simply go and download it save this sample is ready now open the audacity uh, now if you don't have audacity then go and download it so and i will add that audio track here open and this is the file we downloaded now you can hear it can you answer it now what we will gonna do is that we will have it repeat every 15 seconds since our short is 15 second long so that's what we're gonna do so for that just select like this and control C and then go into the 15 seconds here is the 15 second and then paste again then uh, 15 then 30 seconds paste again then 45 seconds then 60 seconds like a minute now you have one minute sample you can just go ahead and copy it up full paste it by minutes so from here like this like this and similarly make for as many shots as we have so once we are done with that then simply go ahead to the files and export it to the mp3 and then 320 kbps to best quality and simply save all right now it is saved now go back to the canva here go into the upload upload file here here is the voiceover file upload it now you can see our file is uploaded then click on this now it is on our timeline so let's start and play can you answer it did you see that now it has voiceover in it you can see this timeline below this it is repeating every 15 seconds that's what we have for now we cannot can you answer it yeah similarly it is repeating every 15 seconds so it will be in every copy of your short so for now we cannot uh, do the bulk voiceover for your questions we can do something like this that is common across all the shorts and so that's it for this video i hope you like this don't forget to share